Hello and welcome to the free Oscar video training series by OscarHost.ca. My name is Jordan Visco and today we're going to cover how to access your Oscar system and how to set up your computer, a few settings you can do to get the best user experience from Oscar. So most of our users get started by coming to our OscarHost.ca website and clicking the try it now for free button to get a 30 day free trial of Oscar. Uh, they enter the number of providers um, in their clinic and they click continue and then they fill out this uh, uh, quick uh, sign up form. Upon clicking create my account our server elves go and create your Oscar instance and then within the next two to three minutes you get an email that looks like this. And it's just a little welcome message that says uh, thanks for signing up. You get a unique login URL which is uh, a, a link to your unique Oscar instance um, which will only have your data in it and won't be accessible by anyone else. Uh, you get your practice ID and then to log in you're going to need your username, your password which you entered on the sign up form and a second level passcode. And so we'll go ahead and log into this instance now so you can copy this link into a web browser or you can just click on it and it'll pop open like this and it'll say welcome your name <clears throat> and we'll enter in our username and our password um, and our second level passcode. Hit enter and we're logged in. And uh, obviously we've done a little bit of customization here already but uh, you can go through and customize your own Oscar instance, you can click on any of these time slots to book appointments, you can add patients and all that good stuff. So once you're done playing around in your Oscar instance um, you can click the log out button to log out here and it'll kick you back to the login page. So because Oscar is a, a web-based software, that means it runs in your internet browser. You can see I'm using Mozilla Firefox. Uh, up in the top left here, you can see the Firefox link. And um, uh, Mozilla Firefox is available on tons of different uh, operating systems. You can get it uh, on a Mac, so you can use Oscar on a Mac. You can use it on a PC, uh, Ubuntu, or any Linux-based uh, operating system. You can even use it on a mobile browser. I pull it up on my phone all the time. and. Uh, uh, or tablet device, you can use it on like an iPad or, or any other tablet uh, just because it runs in your internet browser. Now Oscar will run in any internet browser but it works best in in Firefox and that's because the developers who are developing for Oscar are generally using Firefox and um, the recommended browser to use is actually the ESR version of Firefox. Uh, Firefox gets lots of updates uh, daily, weekly, monthly and um, it's best to download kind of an extended support version that's that's not going to have uh, a lot of new features released all the time uh, that might mess up your workflow. So um, on our login screen we have uh, Oscar works best with the latest ESR version of Firefox which you can download from here and here's a link and if you click on that it brings you to the Firefox site and you can go scrolling down through the localized versions till you find the English version and you can download the one for your appropriate operating system Windows, Mac or, or Linux there. Once you click the download link you can uh, double click on the file to install it and if you currently have Firefox uh, on your computer it'll actually just overwrite the version of Firefox that exists currently so uh, you won't have any problem with like two versions of Firefox competing or anything like that. Um, one of the neat things I like to do with Firefox once I've once I've installed it um, is to just double check and make sure that I'm using the right version of Firefox. So if you click the link up in the top left here, you scroll over to the help, and you scroll down to about Firefox, it'll tell you what version of Firefox you're running. Also, another setting I like to change is in the Firefox options. So if you click Firefox options. Um, it gives you a bunch of different tabs here and if you go to the applications tab I like to set it so that my Adobe Acrobat documents are always um, opened by Adobe Acrobat in Firefox. And I think by default uh, when you update to the ESR it changes this to using the Adobe Reader and then what that means is anytime you want to view a PDF file from Oscar it's going to actually open Adobe Reader but this way it'll open it right within Firefox and I find that saves a little bit of time so I like to set that setting there as well. Alright, so um, now that we know how to log in, um, I want you to sh I want to show you how to make shortcuts that uh, make accessing your Oscar instance um, as easy as it can be. So we'll go ahead and close these pages. So this is the URL of my Oscar instance here, 
and um, in order to bookmark it in Firefox all you actually have to do is click this little star button and if you click it once it'll turn gold like I have it here and uh, and that'll it'll be bookmarked now to find it you can find it a few different ways um, you can click this Firefox link here scroll over to bookmarks and um, you can click show all bookmarks and then you can go into your unsorted bookmarks which are any that you just randomly click this little star button on and it should show up here here let me just get out of that oh Firefox is having an issue make sure it's bookmarked hmm. doesn't seem to want to show for me right now Okay, so that wasn't showing for me, but it now is, and there's a bit of an issue with me adding and deleting this bookmark a bunch of times, but it's there now, and if I click here and I go back to bookmarks, show all bookmarks, go to my unsorted bookmarks, you can see it right there, and I can just double click on that, and it'll open my page here. Now, if you want to edit this bookmark, uh, you can have it show up different places so that you don't have to go and, and find it in here all the time. You can actually have it sitting right here on what's called your bookmarks toolbar. And so if you click this, uh, this um, yellow star again, um, you can choose the folder that this bookmark goes in. So instead of having it in unsorted bookmarks, we can put it right on the bookmarks toolbar and click done. And now you'll see that there's a link to it right here. So I can just click and it opens that page. And so what can happen is um, anytime I open Mozilla Firefox and I want to get to my Oscar instance, I can just click right here and it'll uh, open my login page just like that so another thing that you can do is you can add a link to your fire uh, to your uh, Oscar login page right on your home page and so if I kind of minimize this to here I can go and I can drag oh my computer's kinda crashing here I can uh, drag this icon onto my desktop and it'll create uh, a link right here and if I want I can rename it just right click on it and click rename and I can rename it to whatever I want so I'm just going to call it my Oscar login and then if I close this page anytime I want to access Oscar with one, with, uh, one simple action all I have to do is double click on this link and it opens up my Oscar website just like that so if you're ever having trouble with your Oscar login or you ever forget your password or anything like that, um, the best thing to do is just contact us. And um, if you click the forgot your password link right here, it lets you know how. So you can just contact us at support at oscarhost.ca and we'll give you help. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick training session. If you have any questions or concerns, give us a, give us a ring. Uh, or you can contact us through our website at oscarhost.ca.